Jill Goes Underground video game review. So this one took me an hour and 40 minutes to complete and it, you know, if I hadn't gone as much for collecting everything, could probably knock 20 or 30 minutes off that. So I, a, a lot of stuff in this one is the same as in the first. So if I don't mention something, it's probably because it's basically the same as the first. I will mention there were a couple of things that I realized after I got done recording that I wanted to say, so I'll say them here. So yeah, um, there's still not very much plot. This is, I honestly don't think I've ever played any other platformer that has this little context. Like, I am aware that I am playing as a character named Jill. She is of the jungle. In this one, she goes underground. In the third one, she saves the prince. I don't know anything else about her. Like, is she of the jungle the way that, like, Tarzan is? Did she just go into the jungle? Like, is she, is she doing like Lara Croft, just a rich person who goes, you know, goes into a dangerous area out of, like, curiosity or that kind of thing, you know? Neither of these are worse than the other, but not knowing which it is means that I feel less of a connection to the, the game. And the, yeah, you know, I'm, I think that it's supposed to be set when it came out, so 1992, but I'm honestly not even sure, like, it could be set in the past, you know, maybe that's why she's living in the jungle, maybe it's in the future and there's, like, a post-apocalypse, maybe it's a different planet, and I don't know what Jill is fighting for, is she fighting for her own world, is it just her own survival, is it just, like, curiosity, I, I, I think the game would be stronger if, yeah, like every single other platformer, it had like context. You don't need much. There doesn't have to be an awful lot of it, but with this little, just yeah. And let's see. So the yeah, one thing I neglect to mention in the first in my video on the first one about the controls when you are like moving between. If you're if you want to jump away from a vine that you're climbing, you press the direction you want to jump. You don't press the jump key and the direction. And yeah, this does sometimes make it very annoying. Some sometimes you want to stop climbing a vine, but you can't because the jump key doesn't let make you let go. And if you press left or right, she's going to jump onto the next vine. This this doesn't always happen. Obviously it doesn't happen if there's only the one vine, but yeah, sometimes there's vines on other side and you just have to slowly go through, you know, until it finally lets you jump back off. So the let's see. Yes, I will say I appreciate that, you know, in the first one a lot of the enemies I wouldn't say it had bad enemy design. I, I would rather... It's, it's more purposeful. In the first one, a lot of the, the creatures you come up against, yeah, it feels like, okay, this is stuff you'd see in the jungle, where in this, it's like, okay, this is not... We are not in the jungle anymore. We are not in Kansas anymore. And it's very... clear, Like, it's it's darker in some, some ways, which I quite appreciate. And this time, the, the enemies have a bit more of, like, a, a killer instinct, which I appreciate. In the first one, a lot of the time, they're kind of just... They're either moving completely predetermined and don't even seem to notice if you're there or not, and which is fine. You know, there's there's a lot of that in, in platformers. That's not by itself a bad thing. But other than that, they didn't necessarily feel that much like they wanted to, like, annihilate you. They, you know, some of them kind of felt like, oh, that's kind of curious. Haven't seen a Jill in the jungle before. Maybe. And the where in this, like, okay, some of these enemies are trying to kill you, you know. And some of the, yeah, it's, it's not a spoiler, it's a very early level. I don't, I'm not sure if they maybe weren't allowed to use the word, but they call it heck. But it is definitely supposed to be H-E double hockey sticks. And there are demons who throw fire. I quite appreciate that. That is darker, more intense, faster, more intense. And I, I in the first one, when your character dies... There's this, like, deep, evil laugh that plays. And when I played the first one, I was like, who is that? I don't even know who I'm, like, am I, is, is there a, 
is there an enemy at the like is, is there some mastermind at the end of this and in this one i kind of got the feeling maybe it's the demons that are throwing fireballs that are like laughing or or their boss maybe yeah and yeah it is similar to the the first one there's not a lot of reason to like explore it's probably just going to be like an apple which you know refills your health or grows your health bar that kind of thing you know some there are some things that give you more points and certainly like you got to find a lot of keys and gems to open doors there there was at least one time in this where it kind of felt like okay that was more fetch questing that was at all necessary but i was never bored playing it it is still very linear, and where the first, where Jill the Jungle itself has this open map level where you move between the the entry points, the different levels, this one is, you know, d does not have that. And I appreciate that they did this because in the first, it felt it felt like it was less linear. Obviously, it was still very linear. There wasn't a lot of you you couldn't choose that much what order to play levels. I think some of the last levels maybe you could choose. I'm not entirely sure. I don't think I tried. But yeah, certainly it seemed like you could access the doors for them. I don't know. It's possible they just wouldn't have let you in the door. But anyway, but in this, yeah, it's it's basically one long hallway essentially, you know, which makes it feel like you're you're trapped. So I quite appreciate them making that change. You know, I there there are a lot of these platformers that have you know some of them have this map level where you access individual levels. Some of them have this more linear thing. You know, yeah, I, I appreciate using both like this. And let's see the yes, this is slightly more challenging than the first, which I quite appreciate. It is still the easiest platformer I've ever played, but you know, it's like, it could be the first you ever play, so, you know, for that, it's it's good, and, if, yeah, uh, um, the, let's see, if, actually, that might be about it, and, yeah, so, um, yes, the, the level design, some of the, you know, heck itself, or, Rather, okay, this is this is getting silly. I I can use the actual word. It is, of course, called other people. Is legitimately like kind of intense looking. You know, there's a lot of lava and fire, and it looks very threatening. And some of the puzzles also get more interesting, interesting and intricate here. And yeah, some some of the jumping puzzles do get to be kind of like annoying. There's there's one place where you're literally just you 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 make a lot of jumps, like you make maybe seven jumps in a row because each jump allows you to reach a, a jump upgrade. So as soon as you pick that one up and you're back on the ground, you can jump again and you can reach the new upgrade. And it's just like, okay, we don't, it was, it was approaching getting kind of tedious and such. And yeah, I think that is everything that I have for this one. So yeah, I uh, quite appreciate the, that it got a little tougher. I am looking forward to playing the third one, which apparently like it completely changes the camera perspective. So I'm looking forward to that. And yeah, um... I'm hoping that part three will have some some context. I also haven't been able to find context online. You know, the Wikipedia doesn't really say anything about the the story either. Which, you know, if you compare it to some of the other, yeah, some of the other platformers from this time period, yeah. But yeah, um, I don't know exactly how long it'll take me to complete the third one, but as soon as I'm done with it, I will be back for part three, Jill Saves the Prince.